Make sure I don't hang it. I have time that word hang any better. What a bummer. Ooh. Oh, there was a fish on it! Oh my gosh! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Southwest Fishing. So today we're at a local pond up in Scottsdale. I'm just gonna be giving a shot for a few, for a few crappies and bass. Got a basic Texas rig with a 316th ounce tungsten weight and a Strike King Rage Craw. Uh, it's a green pumpkin blue color. Just super basic. It's got a three, uh, size three EWG hook on it. And I also got a little tiny crappie grub right here little 16th ounce crappie grub super simple just like we always use in all the videos to be able to catch fish not really expecting to catch anything it's winter time it's really slow but i mean it is what it is i do want to say thank you to every single one of you guys hopping on board to the channel i greatly appreciate all of you we're almost at 1700 subs that is insane so uh the growth is incredible and i just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys and uh enough talking let's get fishing all right guys so nick hooked up on the little grub Looks like it's a bass, decent one, not too bad. Oh, that's a big bass, bro. That is a big bass. Yeah, buddy. Wait, don't let him get in there. That's a good one. I told you you were gonna get bit before me because of using that small grub. I was just using the craw. That's awesome. That fish was sitting shallow too. Here, just bring him right to me. I got you. There's your bass, bro. That's a good one right there. <laughs> that is killer. <laughs> yeah, little tiny crappie grub catches that. That's a good fish. That's like a three and a half pounder, really cold. Want to take a picture with him? Your fish. So that's actually one of Nick's bigger basses that he's ever caught. He's not really a fisherman, but seeing this, that's a good fish right there. Let's Hell get yeah. that fish back in, man. That's killer. That is awesome. Killer fish, man. Let's see if I can find this pump. There's a big pump that goes out into the water. Sometimes there's some fish around it. There used to be a lot of fish around it. Here it is. So I used to be able to see the end of it. And I would flip out there just past it, let it swing down. And there'd be a couple fish sitting right underneath it. There we go. There we go. Right near the pump. I mean, right near the pipe. Woo, that's a decent one right there. And I love using braid now. Braid is so much more, uh, so much more touchy. I mean, I feel everything. The most subtle bites. Decent little fish right there. I mean, he, he could uh, use to uh, chew a little more, e e eat a few more little bait fish and everything, but not bad. Not a bad little fish. Decent little fish right there. Let's get him back in. There he goes. That is wicked. Gotta love that, guys. Gotta love that. All right, guys. So maybe third time's a charm. This is the third day. I'm trying to complete this urban fishing video for you guys. It's been really tough. I just picked up the mystery tackle box. It just got delivered to my house. So I want to show you guys real fast what's inside. And, you know, maybe we'll use one of these uh, lures today. We got a Guggen Squad clutch right there. A little Sriracha Craw color. We also got one of these bull gills i've been wanting to buy one of these because the baby bull shad are freaking awesome but i haven't bought the bull gill yet so i'm pumped to give this a shot i mean there's a specific pond that i might go to right before sundown and give this bull gill a quick shot we also got these little uh green pumpkin craws you can never go wrong with those also comes with hooks for those craws the harmony hooks and we also got this little underspin marabou jig really really awesome that'll catch a ton of fish especially once we get that boat out and then we got the excite baits these are really good these are really good little finesse baits and i catch a lot of fish on them and i love it whenever mystery tackle box gives me these because the green pumpkin and watermelon red freaking annihilate the fish there's a bull gill that we got right here just specific color called you got the natural gill all right let's see oh man that thing looks freaking juicy one thing i'll say about this though i mean like using swim baits can be tough because if you're using a big one you know you're not going to catch a lot of fish you might get one or two big bites you might catch a little two pounder because i mean those two pounders are aggressive they'll eat anything and even with these small ones, I mean, you may not get as many bites, but it's just the anticipation of getting that bite. That's what's so exciting. Just like that. Oh my gosh, yes. The anticipation of getting that bite. 
I couldn't have timed that any better, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is wicked. Caught the back end of it. Could I not have timed that word anticipation any better? Just a little tiny, like maybe not even a pounder. I mean, these fish, they just don't care. They eat everything. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I mean, that's nearly a quarter of the size of this little bass, but that's wicked. Let's get this guy back in there. Oh my gosh. That, that is what I'm talking about. The anticipation of getting that bite. And when you get that bite, it's just, it's a big thump because these fish, they have to use so much energy to take out a bait, even that size, because that's a decent size, decent sized bait. Especially for an urban pond like this, where there's a lot of pounders, the two pounders, it takes a lot of energy out of those fish to be able to come and, uh, come and attack it. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. All right, guys, final spot. This is one of my go-to uh, topwater spots late summer. Looks like the water's down quite a bit too. So I don't know how much that's gonna affect this, but we'll see. There's a pipe that goes out here, shoots out some water, could create a few bass to come around this area. And there's also a high point. If I cast to my left, there's a high point and sometimes there's a few fish sitting on the inside or outside of it because of how it slopes in and how it slopes down. Let's give that a shot. I don't think there's gonna be anything that close to the shore, but we'll check it. There we go. That was the lightest bite ever, but that's a good fish. That's a good fish and that was such a light bite. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> that is wicked. That's a, that's a nice fish right there. And like I said, just barely. Such a light bite. <laughs> that's a good one right there. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that's a good fish right there. Let's get that comparison to the size of the bait. Super light bite guys. But I mean this fish, freaking chowed down. He really wanted it. Awesome fish. Definitely biggest one I've caught in the last few days. Very fun. Let's get him back in. Oh man, how wicked is that? Thank you for the bite, bud. Yes! It was a really light bite though. I mean, he, he didn't hit it like that little guy did. Oh, 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 he came back for it. He came back for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Another decent fish, too. Oh, he sideswiped it. How freaking awesome is this? <laughs> Another good fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. Check that out. Freaking little toad right there. Little chunk. Not really toad, I guess. But there's a bullgill right there attached to his lip. That's freaking wicked. One last look at him. Let's get him in. Thank you for the bite, buddy. That, yeah. Man, that is what it's all about. That is what fishing is about. That little guy slammed it. That second fish that I caught on this sucker just absolutely inhaled it. And this one double hit it. So it's just showing how much that these fish really want this lure currently. I mean, it could be this low pressure system kind of circling around the valley, but, and mind you, I'm doing all this on a freaking spinning rod. Luckily, luckily it is a smaller presentation, so I can actually get away with this. But. And I was changing my battery, so it's actually gonna be a little bit deeper, so gotta keep the rod tip up, make sure I don't hang it. <laughs> could I have timed that word hang any better? my gosh and the problem is, is when you hang in this pond you usually don't get it back because they have like all this like paper it's like weird like paper stuff dang it well i timed that word perfectly my goodness ah, what a bummer well thank you Ooh. Oh, there was a fish on it. Oh my gosh. What the? What the? What? what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh my. And this is, this is a nice one. This is, 
not necessarily the biggest one of the day, but I mean, it's for sure the longest fish of the day. That fish out right there, guys. That's a nice fish. And he was barely hooked, oh my goodness. I was hung, and this fish grabbed it after I pulled it off, whatever I was hung on. Thank you. <laughs> that was insane. That was insane. Holy crap. It took three videos. It took me three, not three videos, three separate days to make this. To get this video up to par to where I could post it for you guys. And who would have thought that all I needed was the baby baby bull shad not the baby bull shad but the baby gill shad holy crap all right guys so we're done fishing finally got this video all set up and ready ready to go for you guys so it took me three separate days i went out first day went out with my buddy nick he hooked up with the nice bass up in scottsdale then i went to that pond drop shot it for a little bit caught that one fish and then that baby bullgill, man, that thing, if I didn't get mystery tackle box the other day, oh my gosh, I'll, good luck. I'm not catching anything. That video would still be on hold, but uh, we caught we caught a few fish. We caught that first small one at the first spot, and then we got three really good quality fish at that final spot that I wanted to go to. And I've been wanting to go there for the last six months, but I just haven't, I don't know why. I'm glad I went today. And, uh, that last fish, which was by far the biggest fish of the day, really, really awesome fish. Oh my gosh, I'm all hung up trying to pop it off, and then finally I go to the other side. I just pull on it, expecting it to break, and just you know, sucks, whatever. And then I pull it off, and then I feel something shaking, and then I have a fish on. It was wicked, it was so insane, and so it was a great way to cap off the day. And honestly, I was out there for an hour and hour and 30 minutes by the time I got out there and tried a couple of the ponds and everything so an hour and a half and caught four fish it, it's not bad so uh, especially because a couple of them were really good quality but you know I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys hopping on board to the channel I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys the growth has been phenomenal we are almost at 2,000 subs so please if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that subscribe button the like button and bell notification for all future content and uh Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible, so thank you. I, I really, really appreciate it. But, I mean, we're going to be having some really cool videos coming up within probably the next month or so. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.